Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the fourth episode of my Black Ops Weapon Guide. Glad you could join us. In this episode, we're covering the first weapon in the LMG category, the HK-21. It's a fully automatic weapon, and is available as part of a default class from level 2. The HK-21 originates from West Germany, manufactured by Heckler und Koch. It's based on the G3 battle rifle, and is ostensibly a general purpose machine gun variant of that weapon. It was introduced two years after the G3, in 1961, intended as a complement to HK's earlier offering. Similar in design and maintenance, the HK-21 had a few modifications that made it more suitable for sustained fire. A heavier barrel with quick change capability, long range adjustable iron sights, and detachable bipod comprise the key differences. The HK-21 also boasts unique versatility as far as ammunition feeding is concerned. It's capable of accepting both magazines, including standard G3 20 round and larger drum magazines, as well as belt fed ammunition more typical for a machine gun. Magazine capacity in game is 30 rounds by default, or 60 rounds with the drum magazine. The HK-21 fires the NATO standard 7.62 by 51mm rifle cartridge, just like the G3, and most other Western battle rifles. Damage dealt is high and consistent at all ranges, unlike assault rifles or SMGs. The HK-21 will be a 3-hit kill at any distance, and there's the potential for a 2-hit kill if both are headshots. Rate of fire is moderate for the LMG category, on par with the RPK, but faster than the M60 and slower than the Stoner 63. Recoil is omnidirectional with an upward bias. When fired in bursts, it's very manageable. The only real downsides to the HK-21 are its handling characteristics. Your movement speed will be much slower, your aim time will be slow at 350 milliseconds, and the reload isn't quick either, taking nearly 4 seconds to complete. The usual set of default optical attachments are available, and the two close range optics, the red dot and the reflex, don't offer any real benefit over the iron sights other than a clear view on target. The iron sights on the HK-21 are reasonably good, but the improved visibility of the sights do confer some advantages, so it's a better choice than nothing. Between the red dot and reflex, I'd personally favour the red dot, as it obscures slightly less of your target area something which may be a factor if you're facing multiple enemies at once. The long-range optics grant a close view of distant targets, but this is at the expense of added recoil. The ACOG is great for locking down narrow choke points over longer sightlines, or in a counter-sniper role, but you'll suffer in closer engagements due to the increased difficulty in staying on target. The infrared scope is similar, and boasts an even greater zoom advantage than the ACOG. Unfortunately, you lose all peripheral vision, and quite a bit of definition on target, even if most enemies are highlighted bright white. It's only really effective from a concealed position at long range, and even then it's not really worth the downsides. The only non-optical attachment is extended magazines, doubling your default capacity from 30 to 60 rounds total before you need to reload. This makes the HK-21 far more effective in an LMG role, with the default 30 rounds, it's essentially just a slow handling assault rifle with no damage drop off. 60 rounds gives you much more sustained firepower, enough to repel entire teams when fired in bursts from a good position. LMGs have few advantages, so it makes sense to capitalize on capacity where possible. For that reason, extended magazines would be my attachment of choice, great for a defensive role and lessening the need for sleight of hand. Sustained firepower is one of the core strengths of the weapons in the LMG category. And for sustained defense of a point, you need to ensure that you're well supplied. With liberal use of the trigger, it's all too easy to run dry, but our first perk choice, Scavenger Pro, helps alleviate this by providing double the amount of starting ammunition. With this, and the resupplies dead enemies will leave on the ground, you'll be able to hold a point indefinitely without worrying about your ammo count and liberal use of ammunition is what the HK-21 excels at. It and LMGs in general are also effective when shooting through cover, 
with their generous magazine capacities, damage and innate ability to penetrate walls. Our second perk choice helps improve these effects even further. Hardened improves your odds of killing someone hiding behind a wall, but it's the pro benefit that's perhaps the most useful for a defensive LMG lowdown. The 80% flinch reduction will allow you to keep on your target, even if you take incoming fire. Ideally, you'll be behind cover when firing, but an opponent with keen aim might still be able to hit you. With Hardened, your odds of survival will increase, as you'll find it easier to retaliate and kill the aggressor. Our third perk choice also helps you to remain on target under duress. Tactical Mask protects you from Nova Gas, and perhaps more importantly, the Pro variant will lessen the effects of flash and concussion grenades. These tactical grenades often work wonders against defenders. Flash grenades take away your ability to aim, and Nova Gas would otherwise force you to move position, potentially suicide when using a weapon that's best fired from a stationary spot. Tactical Mask grants almost complete immunity to these tactics, allowing you to keep on firing accurately, vastly increasing your chances of survival. For the remainder of your loadout, a few things will serve you well in a defensive role. For your secondary, you'll find Scavenger removes the need for a backup weapon, as running out of ammunition is rare. The pistols are less useful with the LMGs anyway, as their switch times are generally too slow to be useful up close. An anti-air launcher is a great choice then, and will mean you can defend the skies as well as the ground. Scavenger will also give you an extra rocket with all of the launchers, so with a Strela 3, you'll get three shots, enough to take down anything with a rocket to spare. The high damage and reasonably effective hipfire of the LMGs means that your close range performance is good enough not to warrant a pistol, but you are very vulnerable to attacks from behind. A claymore in your equipment slot will serve as adequate cover for the rear of your defensive position, and will often grant you a free kill against those who would otherwise sneak up on you. For your grenades, I'd recommend frags for their slightly larger lethal radius, and your choice of flashbangs or Nova Gas for your tactical slot. With Tactical Mask, Nova Gas can be a very useful tool for when you're obliged to go on the offense with an LMG. The noxious cloud can cover one entranceway during a capture, while your gun covers another. It's tempting to try and counter the sluggish nature of the LMGs, perhaps using lightweight, sleight of hand or marathon to improve their handling and mobility characteristics. In all honesty though, running around with the LMGs as though it were an assault rifle is not to the weapon's strength. It's far better to embrace the slow nature of the weapon, and take an altogether more careful approach to conflicts. There are two effective ways in which you can employ the HK-21. The first is the purely defensive role. When locking down an objective from a covered position, you'll be glad for the larger magazine, penetration ability and consistent damage. A well-placed LMG user can defend a point against multiple enemies and make them rethink their tactics. Secondly, you can use the LMGs as a complement to an offensive push with your teammates. For instance, at the start of a domination game, follow behind the runners intent on taking Bravo before the enemy, and take up a defensive position behind the point while your teammates capture. Your fire support will tilt your team's odds of securing the point before the enemy is able to, and once captured you'll be in a good position to provide a rock-solid defense. If you find yourself moving about too much, you're probably playing the loadout incorrectly. You'll benefit most from a stationary firing position, Sprinting near enemies with such a slow weapon is as good as suicide. Unyielding firepower is the LMG's core tenet. And with the HK-21, it's very possible to provide sustained fire in the defense of flags, points, or other objectives. No damage drop-off means they work well along lengthy sightlines, and can be a strong counter to snipers at long range. You'll be able to kill them before they can escape to cover, assuming you don't let them get a named shot. The reload might seem slow at 4 seconds, but if you're in good cover you'll seldom die as a result, and after a short delay you'll have another 60 rounds to dole out upon the enemy. If you don't play to the weapon's strength you'll struggle though, the HK-21 is as unwieldy and cumbersome as any of the LMGs, and if you're caught in the open you'll struggle to compete against an assault rifle or SMG. 
you need to slow your game down and adopt more patient tactics. Securing predictable choke points near objectives is where these weapons shine. You won't be the quickest on the draw, but you'll have unparalleled stamina and the power to annihilate entire teams. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be covering the first sniper rifle, the Dragonov. Until then, farewell.